back. Today's video is my favorite thrifted pieces that I've collected over the years. Um, these ones that I'm showing you are kind of over like the last year of my favorites. And obviously it's not all the pieces that I've collected because I go thrift shopping like every other day. But it's just going to be some of my favorites or some of my most recent. Because some of these I haven't even like actually been able to try them on like with a full on outfit. But I liked them so I got them like a week ago. And so I kind of wanted to show those too. Just because. Maybe I'll do pants first because pants is like, pants are the hardest thing to find while thrifting. Especially because I'm pretty small and so every time I find a pair of pants that I actually like they're usually too big for me and I've even had some that I've tried to like alter myself and it just doesn't really work out the way that I envision it in my head but um, I have become lucky with a couple items over the years. My all time favorite thrifted item I have right now, I think out of everything this is going to be my favorite so we're just going to start off strong and it is these sage green pants. I got them at like a smaller thrift store but they look like this. They're like iron to have the little like pleats in them which I actually love. I'm probably going to continue ironing that, ironing them that way so that they stay like that. But they're the brand Ravel which I've never heard. They are 100% silk and they are just gorgeous. The color of them is beautiful. The way they fit is beautiful. They fit like a straight leg pant and I am just so in love with them. I think this is probably one of my favorite pieces that I've ever thrifted of like clothing wise. But yeah, they're so cute. Um, insert me trying them on and living my best fashionable life in them. The next piece that I got I actually bid on this piece and I didn't think I was actually going to get it because they're brand new Levi's. But I paid like 20 bucks for these and they're brand new with the tags still on them and everything. They are the rib cage straight ankle pant and it says straight through but honestly I feel like they flare a little bit. I love the material on them. They're actually really soft. Like I know a lot of Levi's are kind of like rough but these ones are actually really soft and they have the whole like button all the way up thing instead of a zipper which I usually prefer in my jeans. They look like this. I am obsessed with them. I have them on my Depop right now but I'm like kind of hoping they don't sell and I have them at kind of a high price in hopes that they won't sell because I want to keep them myself. I didn't think I was going to be as in love with them as I am until I tried them on the other night when I was taking pictures of them for my Depop and I was like Oh man, I don't really want to sell them anymore. I love the color of them and everything because it's like a light, lighter blue rather than like the dark jean color. It kind of looks darker on camera, honestly, but it is lighter. This next clothing piece has dog hair all over it because I wore them like two days ago and they haven't been washed yet and living with maple, which is kind of inevitable. So these ones are just black trousers. I found these ones at Goodwill. I want to say they're probably like $7 or something like that. Um, they are the Tahari brand, the Tahari brand, which I think is like a Kohl's brand or something. And they are really similar to the green ones that I was showing you, but they're black. And they're really hard to see on camera because they're just black, but they're really cute. They fit like a wide leg or straight leg trouser and they are high-waisted, which I love. And yeah, I have a picture of these in my Instagram somewhere. I'm like in a parking garage or something and I'm wearing these and... Yeah, I love them because they're soft and really cozy, so if I want to like look nice but be comfortable at the same time, these are the pants that I go for. That is all that I have for pants, I believe, that I've thrifted. Um, so next thing I will do is shirts and then I'll do jackets and then accessories after that. I'll show you guys the most recent stuff that I've gotten. It's a little uh, zip-up sweater and it has like a zip on the bottom and a zip on top and I haven't styled it yet, but I like that there's a zip on the bottom because I probably will have this like in, at a midway point. And then have this one down as well and then pair it with high-waisted bootcut pants and yeah. The material is super thick. It's really nice quality. I'm pretty sure this piece is from the 90s because it really gives me that kind of vibe. <laughs> um, the next one that I have, I haven't even tried this one on yet either. But I thought it was cute when it was sitting on the hanger. It is this little sweater and it has a crossover button right here. And then from that button in the back it ties right here. And I love that because... A lot of times with sweaters, I feel like the biggest thing I don't like about them is how boxy they make me look. And so with the tie in the back, you cinch it however tight you need it. And then it gives you like 
actually a waist. I'm curious to see how I will end up styling this. The next shirt, I love this one. I think it's the color and the ribbed. I don't know. I love everything about it. I think I got this one. This was. I think this one was also from Goodwill. I have pretty good luck with the Goodwill here in town, which is funny because when I was younger and would go thrifting, that was the last place I would look because we always thought that out of all thrift stores, their prices were just way too high, which honestly, compared to other thrift stores, they are way too high, but you can still find really good things there, especially if you shop their discounted tags. This is the shirt. It is ribbed. I like that it has like cool detail in it, so it's like small ribs right here and then like larger ribs right here which is really cool and this is the brand I have no clue what that is but yeah here's the shirt like I said when I wear it I tuck under the top and make it like into a crop top I would cut it but a lot of times fabrics that aren't meant to be <laughs> cut will fray poorly when you um, cut them and so I and the way this was made too like I I'm not trying to destroy it. Like I could surge it if I really wanted to, but I just, that's a lot of work. I'm just going to keep tucking it until I'm wanting it to be full length. Um, okay, the other day when I was at, I was at this small uh, local thrift store in my town. I found this Mickey Mouse shirt there. I was looking in the men's section and I saw it and it is like a 3XL I think is what they had marked on it. There's no tag in it, so I don't know how accurate that is. But it's so cute. I went in the fitting room and tried it on because I wanted to make sure that it actually fit the way I like my big t-shirts to fit and it does and I love that it's also white because all of my big tees are like crazy colors that I can't really um, put outfits together with them because they're just like too out there. So I love that this is just simple and it like looks like vintage Disney type uh, of a shirt. So cute. It'll be super easy to put like a simple outfit together with this. The last shirt that I'm going to show, this was a shirt I've had for actually a really long time. It is a white ribbed turtleneck and it's from Gap and I can't remember where I got it but I do remember that I thrifted it. So it's a size Mrs. Large and so it's always been a little big on me and so I've only ever worn it under certain clothing items and then this year with the whole super crop top or arm warmer whatever you want to call it that trend coming kind of in more, I decided to turn it into one of those types of shirts. And so there is that. I just wore this in my most recent Instagram picture. Insert those really quick. But yeah, I love the way it turned out. I think I've actually already worn it more since I cut it than I have the past three years that I've owned it. So I don't know how long this trend will be here for, so I might regret it later. But for right now, I'm loving the fact that I cropped it. Plus, it saves me, like, the $40 that Zara would have charged me for something like this. I might be exaggerating. I think it's, like, 30 there. But still, $30 versus I probably bought this shirt for $5 and cropped it myself, and it looks great. So, save yourself the money and just do it yourself. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is jackets. This is going to be really hard because Maple is in my lap and she's now sleeping. And I feel really bad for moving, but I need to show you guys the jackets that I have. Oh, see, she's already awake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. First one that I have is just this black blazer. Um, I think I might have gotten this one in the men's section, but I... Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't get it in the women's section. But, um, you want to go lay in your bed? It's just black. I usually wear this with, um, my super light blue jeans and, like, docks or whatever, and I love that this just kind of, like, adds a little spice to the outfit. Makes it a little bit more fashionable than if I'm just wearing blue jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer. It looks a little bit nicer or I like boots with it as well. Looks a little bit nicer than if I just had on some like basic outfit. The only downside to this jacket, it collects dog hair like no other and that is really hard with having a corgi. Okay, the next one I have is my brown, white, and black houndstooth blazer. Uh, I have taken many, many Instagram pictures in this one. I don't know where I got this one, but I've probably worn it the most out of all my thrifted jackets. It has these big black buttons on it, and the only thing I don't like about this jacket is the giant uh, cuffs on the sleeve, but it's honestly not that big of a deal. I still wear the jacket all the time. Um, it is the brand Liz Claiborne. 
I think is how you say that. It is so cute. I love it because it kind of just goes with everything. It's a pretty neutral jacket, but it also is usually the center of the attention on my outfit when I wear it because it has the houndstooth print, which is not that subtle. <laughs> But the colors on it are really neutral, which I think that's why I am so in love with this jacket. This next jacket is probably my favorite jacket that I have thrifted. I said that about the last one, didn't I? I don't know. I'm like stuck between the two. I've worn the last one the most, but this one I think is going to be my absolute favorite. It is a Pendleton jacket. It is a woman's eight, but and so like it is a little big on me but I just use, wear it as an oversized blazer it is so beautiful it has these gold buttons on it which I love the detail um, it is 100% pure wool apparently at least the actual jacket it is and I don't know I just love everything about it and it goes with so much too because it is like this cream color this next one I probably should have done with the shirts but Oh well, I'll do it now. Uh, it is this cashmere sweater. I found this at the Goodwill bins actually. I must have just gotten really lucky. Uh, it is this beige cashmere sweater. Usually when I wear it, I will fold it in like I do with my uh, other beige top that I was talking about. Uh, I think it's just super beautiful and it is extremely soft. I, yeah, I absolutely adore this piece. I don't wear it that often though just because since it is cashmere, it's kind of hard to wash, and so I don't wear it that often, mostly because I'm too lazy to sit here and hand wash every piece of my clothing. <laughs> this next one that I have, I've had this one for a couple years now, and it is just a little black cardigan. Um, it was a longer cardigan when I first got it, and I ended up just cutting off the bottom of it to kind of get a cropped look on it, and yeah, I, it's really simple. I think my favorite thing about this piece is that it's just kind of a nice simple piece to throw over anything because it is black and so it's super neutral um and since i cropped it it is even cuter than it was before i cropped it the brand is designer originals no idea what that is but yeah i loved it so there's that one and then the last piece i'm going to show you i'm probably not going to keep this jacket but i do love the way that it looks um, it is on my Depop if you want to get it. This is this le black leather blazer. It is the brand Newman Marcus. If I pronounced it wrong, sorry. But yeah, this is what the jacket looks like. I have worn it for pictures already, um, but I'm probably going to plan on selling it just because I already have a leather jacket that I got before I started thrifting all of these other jackets uh, otherwise I would have kept it but yeah I think it's super cute the only flaw in it is that it does have this like little rip right here in the leather I don't know if there's a way for me to fix that but I don't really know how to sew leather so I'm not trying to ruin it even more it is a great great jacket the material is genuine leather so obviously it's super great quality and um it honestly keeps you really warm not gonna lie I I love it, and apparently it's handmade in America, according to this tag, so that's pretty cool. Obviously, these types of jackets are super popular right now, so if you want it, go on my Depop, and maybe I'll give you a good deal on it. Just let me know. Message me. Send me send me your bargains. Um, okay, so that is everything that I have for clothing. The last thing I am going to show is going to be my um i was gonna do shoes but i don't really have that many thrifted shoes i think the only thing i ever really thrifted with shoes is my converse my white leather converse and my cowboy boots so so what i want to show instead is going to be my accessories i have a lot of thrifted accessories but i'm just going to show my favorites or my best finds i'll start off with my watches um this one is my valentino watch that i got this one um at I can't remember what thrift store it was, but it was like a little local thrift store in my town. And they had this bucket of watches. They had this bucket of watches that was like $2 each watch, doesn't matter the name, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I bet there has to be something in there that like they just don't know that they have it. And so I was looking through it and then I found this one and I was like, I told you. The only thing about it is that it is pretty old, so it has um, some cosmetic issues, but... For $2, I, I don't really care about that, and I will wear it on my own. But yeah, it is very beautiful and a great find. 
if I do say so myself. <laughs> She's pretty cute. I, I like her a lot. So yeah, there's my Valentino watch. And then my other watch that I thrifted, I have three thrifted watches, but one of them my mom thrifted. So maybe I'll show that in another video, but I didn't personally find that one. So there are all designer watches too. I don't know how these end up at the thrift store, but it happens. So um, keep your eyes peeled, I guess. So this next one that I have is a Givenchy or Givenchy, however you would like to say this designer's name. Um, I'm not really sure. Anyways, this is the watch. It is a brown leather watch and then it has a gold and white face and it is beautiful. It still has the tag still on it. Um, I don't really, I was going to like sell it, but I have no idea what it's worth and so I'm not really sure how much I'm supposed to sell it for. But if you have any idea about watches or know what the heck this thing is worth, let me know. Um, she's really pretty. It still has like the original sticker on the back, like like when you first get a watch and you like peel it off and that's like when you start wearing it. Still has that on it. There's no wrinkles in the leather. It is brand new and I actually got this for 25 cents. Um, I found it in, a, in like in the case at one of the thrift stores that I go to and they have this like end of the month sale type thing every month and that month it was blue tags were 50 or 75 percent off or something like that and so i got it for 25 cents and i am very pleased it is um great the watch is super cute i think the only thing is that it needs a battery but i mean the last thing i want to show you guys for accessories is a designer purse that i got and then i kind of want to talk to you guys about the home decor that i usually get while i'm thrifting because not a lot of people look at home decor or like they a lot of people overlook home decor when they go thrift shopping and they focus on clothes and accessories. I don't know why they do this though because you can find the coolest pieces in home decor and so I just want to show you guys like some of my favorites. Like most of my house is thrifted so take that with what you will. Anyways, the last accessory that I have is my Prada purse. It looks like this. It's pretty big. She's a little old. She has some damage on the bottom. But I love her because she's the first designer piece I've ever had and I bought her with my own money and she's so cute. It's definitely damaged like to the max and probably not worth like anything but I, I love this purse mostly just because it is the first designer piece that I've ever bought with my own money and so I will forever have this purse in my possession. Um, but yeah, it's cute. It's just pretty big so I don't really carry it around anymore because I don't enjoy big purses. but. Someday big purses will come back and she will come back with me. The last things I want to show you with home decor and things like that. Uh, the first thing I have is this mug. See, it's so cute. I love it so much. It's probably one of my favorite mugs that I own. Another thrifted thing that I love is this little jar vase thing. I got this one at the same thrift store that I get most of my stuff. But it is really cute. It was like 25 cents, I think. And I carry my like scissors and pens and stuff in there. Another one I have is this art piece back here. It has like French stuff on it. I don't really know what it says, but it's pretty. And I think it was like $20 or something at a furniture store, like a secondhand furniture store. So very beautiful. Um, I'll insert some more things around my house that I've thrifted. Um, most of it is thrifted. I just, I personally feel like things at thrift stores, like home decor wise, are overlooked because you don't envision it in your house. You just kind of see the item and you're like, okay, that's, that's like not, not that cute. Like that vase, like that vase isn't that cute, but putting it with all my like arts and crafts and stuff, like makes it that much more cute. Anyways, guys, I think that is all that I have for you today. I just wanted to show some of my favorite pieces that I've thrifted. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really enjoy thrift shopping and I love showing everyone what I've gotten over the years because most of my closet is thrifted and so I wanted to show some of my favorite pieces out of all of those. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below or message me some video ideas that you have for me. I'm kind of struggling to come up with things and I hate, I, I love getting ideas off of uh, YouTube like from other people's videos but I do hate the idea of like maybe accidentally copying someone so I love having um, original ideas and stuff like that so if you guys have anything you can think of that you would like to see from me let me know and I will do my best to make that happen. Anyways I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.
Bye.